In this video we will consider the torque that is applied when a dipole is placed inside an external electric field. <coughs> Again, here is my dipole. I've just decided arbitrarily to put my x-axis in the direction of the dipole. The electric field is at some angle with respect to it. It could be in three dimensions, but with two vectors you can always lie a plane, so I've done so. And I've expanded my little mini dipole into these two charges that are separated by a distance d. And the electric field, as we talked about before, is usually uniform or constant over the size of the dipole. So here I've got the electric field the same at both. And we found in the previous video there was no net force on the dipole. However, we will find that there is a torque. How do we do that? We calculate the torque for each one. So the total torque, and we're talking about a torque about an axis right here perpendicular to that. Remember, torques are always dependent on the axis. It is dependent upon the lever arm that's going out to the plus charge times the force on the positive charge plus the torque arm going out to the negative charge crossed with the force on the negative charge. So, in our drawing here, we can see that this arm here going at the positive charge is on I hat and it's D over 2 I hat and that's crossed with Q times E and on the other side we see that the distance going out is going in the negative I hat so it's negative d over 2 i hat and that's crossed with the force which is minus q e and we can see the minuses cancel and when the minuses cancel I get a d over 2 times i hat cross q e hat exactly the same as the first term so you add those two together and you get D and I can pull the Q since it's a scalar on the other side I hat cross E but in our particular problem the P vector the dipole moment is D Q I hat So that means, therefore, that the torque applied upon the dipole is just P cross E. This is in fact a universal formula no matter how I had set up my axis. And an important one that you should know. All right, that calculates the torque about an axis in the center of the dipole. So the dipole, even as small as it is, has a desire to start trying to rotate due to this torque. So this electric field is attempting to torque or twist this dipole's orientation. And if it does not align, that means that somebody is going to have to apply force and do work against it. That'll be what we'll discuss in the next video.